Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. We begin with that ruptured gas main that forced several buildings in the Bronx to be evacuated this morning as clouds of smoke filled the air. Lisa Rosner has the video showing how the chaos began. Around 9.40 Sunday morning, smoke filled the air in front of 379 Bedford Park Boulevard, a busy street with businesses and residential buildings. Police were obeying. By the grace of God, we are alive. We left like 10 minutes before the explosion. And my mother-in-law, she called us to, to see we were okay. But the smell is pretty hard to breathe. Yeah, so we got like some masks. The FDNY says the gas main ruptured. More than 100 firefighters worked to shut off gas to the immediate area and evacuate homes. Making matters worse, the Bronx has one of the highest asthma rates in the country, according to Columbia University's School of Public Health. And you can't breathe that. And People got respiratory problems. We saw several people being treated by paramedics. The FDNY says all had minor injuries. They this man no told way. us in Spanish his relative suffers from high blood pressure and was feeling dizzy. Ahora la 184. The, the pressure is like 184. Since the trauma of melon the gas and getting uh, uh, out of bed that early in the morning, it traumatized. People who live in the area tell us work has been done on the road, on and off, for quite some time. This was like a construction down the street that they were fixing the pipe. The problem is these guys break and they open. They break and they open. Six months they've been at this thing, and it's the biggest waste of money. Con Edison crews remained on scene, making repairs to return gas service to the immediate area by the end of the day. A Con Ed rep said work was going on recently to prep to replace the gas main with more efficient piping as part of infrastructure improvements. The FDNY did not get back to us with the cause, but did say the Department of Buildings is on scene. In Bedford Park, Lisa Rosner, CBS News, New York.